Hello everyone. About six weeks ago I did a short three or four minute video on my van, how I converted it in seven days for £500 just to show you how simple and cheap it is to convert your van. But I didn't go into too much detail and show you the kit and equipment and everything that I had in there. I didn't expect so many views and so much positive feedback. So I thought I'd do another video a bit longer and show you the kit and equipment and everything I use, maybe explain where I bought it from, how much it cost, and do a little bit more detail really. So here's the van. Right. Under is the kitchen, real basic, little gas stove. I bought that years ago, it was in a half price sale in Trespass, I only paid £10 for it. Last time I went in Trespass, they were about like thirty odd pound. But about six months ago, I went on eBay because of my land. I've got a little off-grid building I built on my land, and I bought another one, and I got it for twelve ninety-nine on eBay with free postage. So it was a lot cheaper than the camping shops to buy it on eBay. That one was uh, my little kettle, and that bowl is my sink. But um, I've got loads of those bowls and lots of metal um, plates, cups, everything metal really. Um, I used to do house clearance, so I used to store away lots of stuff planning this conversion, so I didn't buy any of my pots, pans, bowls, anything like that. So I'm not sure how much that costs, but I would definitely recommend metal everything. Forget your ceramics and porcelain, and even the plastic I don't think is very good. I'll definitely get metal plates, bowls, cups, everything. Up there is bottles of gas. I've always got quite a lot of gas because there's no point going into trespass or millets or go outdoors or something like that and spending 10 or 12 quid on four cans when you can go online and buy like 24 cans for like 15, 18 pounds. You get like four times as much. So, And they don't actually last that long. So really one can, depends what you're doing, but it lasts between two and four days really. Depends how many much you cook breakfast and dinner and have cups of tea but yeah so you go through them every few days so it's worth stocking up on them because you don't want to you don't want to run out do you and under here i got didn't show this last time um 225 litre tubs so uh just for water really because i hate running out of water um i bought them on ebay actually i think for 18 pound for both of them with free postage brand new I would definitely recommend if you're going to put your drinking water in a container, buy new because you never know what someone's stored in it, whether it's oil or formaldehyde, you don't know. So definitely buy brand new. In here, I've just got lots of um, plastic bags, not just carrier bags, but crisp wrappers, bread bags, anything clean, not with sugar in or nothing. But I use them as bin liners because you don't have much rubbish in the back of your van, but you still got tea bags, eggshells, banana skins, you know, little things. So... I, I reuse the old packaging as for bin liners. Uh, oh, they're just a couple boxes of carry more boots. Um, I've got a pair on now, but uh, they were like £120 in trespass and millets and that. And I went on eBay again and I found them for £37 a pair. So I bought three pairs. So I got like three pairs for the price of one. I don't like doing all my shopping online because the high street shops, you know, it's good to have them. But when it's that much cheaper, you might as well go online and save the money. The fridge, Halfords, £50. And it's Halfords own make. And it's pretty good, actually. You can get quite a lot of stuff in there. Obviously, not two litre bottles of Coke. You put two of them in there and it'll fill it up. But if you've got bacon, cheese, sausages, whatever, you get quite a lot of stuff in there. And... Um, it's 12 volts, so it plugs in the back of the van in like your cigarette lighter you got in the front. My van come with one in the back. I don't know if all vans do, but they're probably quite easy to fit. So every time the engine's running, the fridge is running. And even when the engine's not running, I tried it last summer and the milk went off after four days. And that was in hot weather. So it does keep it cold for four days after you switch it off. Uh, there's my fishing rods. Like I said before, those little ones up in the corner. I bought them on Temu, or Timu, however you pronounce it. Literally £5 each, and they extend to 6 foot, 8 foot, 10 foot. They're all different ones, but they're only a fiver each. And even some of these other ones that look pretty good, they're only £20 each on um, eBay. But they are they're a lot better than the cheap ones, I must admit. But 
You still catch fish with any of them. So, no point spending hundreds and hundreds. Not unless you're going out in the ocean and doing some serious fishing, because that stuff won't be any good for that. Um, my sofa, literally memory foam with fabric sewn over it. Literally about £20. I, the memory phone again was just on eBay. Underneath I just got all my pots and pans. Again, look, metal plates, metal bowls, metal everything. Because you can't break it. Pretty indestructible, really. Take it out camping, leave it out in the rain, it don't matter. Uh, that's my tent, sleeping bag, air bed, blankets, waterproofs and all that. I won't go into that today. I'll do another video some other time when I'm out while camping because... I do actually spend a bit more money on some decent gear there, go outdoors and trespass and buy good stuff for when I go out camping. I'll explain that when I'm doing a camping video. That's my double bed. Again, the mattress was only £60, but I didn't even buy that neither because the parents cleared out their spare bedroom to turn it into like an office and I just had the, the, the mattress. It hardly, hardly used, so like new really. Uh, rock sacks up there. I bought one in Go Outdoors, it was like about £80, one in Trespass for about 60 but then I went online and got three or four others for, for literally about £15-£18 each on eBay, and they're all just as good as each other. They vary from 60 litres up to 120 litres, so it depends how long I'm going away for, what kit I'm taking. You know, if I'm going away for two weeks climbing loads of mountains while camping, then you need a big rucksack. But if you're just going away for a few days, you'd Take a smaller rucksack. Um, underneath all the plastic tubs, I didn't say what was in them last time, but um, mainly just the rest of the fishing gear. You've got like your reels and your hooks and your lures and all sorts. And I've got like baby wipes and toilet paper, you know, you're clean and stuff. You want spare stuff for that. You don't want to run out of that neither. Um, I can't think really what's in there. Um, hats, gloves. Just spares of stuff, really. Because a lot of the time, when you go online, it works out so much cheaper to buy multiples of everything. So, up there's just my food. Again, it's porridge, pasta. And it's all, like, Morrison's or Tesco's own make stuff. Because I can't really taste the difference, to be honest, whether you spend a few quid more on something or not. So, this porridge, you've got, like, one kilo bags, 90 pence. You know, and the pasta in there, 500 gram bags, are 41p. These tins of rice pudding, only 25 pence a tin. And it's all, it's quite filling. And it's so quick, you don't even have to heat it up. Open it, eat it, job done. So it's so, it's good when you're out there wandering around the mountains and wild camping and that, because it's so simple. And it's so cheap. And it's actually, well, it's pretty good for you really as well, isn't it? Pasta and porridge and all the tins of fish, they're, they're good. Peanuts, that's another thing. I eat a lot of peanuts for the oils and the salt and all that. So, yep, perfectly fine. That's just um, cleaning products, that is. So, chest of drawers. Uh, obviously, it's up to you what clothes you take. But um, I do have thermal underwear. Hardly ever use it. But it has come in useful a couple of times when it's <laughs> minus 10 or 12 up in Scotland. And the base layers, I recommend the base layers. They are excellent. They're better than wearing a big thick jumper sometimes, those base layers. And um, DLX, I find, from Trespass is actually a really good make. Not the cheapest, but it's the, that's bloody good it is. It's really good stuff. I've got a DLX um, ski jacket over here, actually. Yeah, DLX. It's just really good makers. This has got one of those recall things in the sleeve. Apparently, like, even if you're in an avalanche stuck, like, 20 foot under snow and a helicopter can fly over with all its technology and that, and it'll, it'll pinpoint where you are. And it's really, uh, it's quite thin and lightweight, but it's really insulated, so warm and waterproof. Not cheap, but I definitely recommend getting good waterproof gear. Berghouse is another one that's good, um, a good make. I wear the Berghouse waterproof trousers a lot because they're so lightweight and they're so comfortable and they're actually waterproof so that's my junk drawer I call it but I did a video on this previously all my lights, my booster packs, head torches, first aid kit got fire lighters in there, got batteries as well for the head torches um, and some other little tools and that um, again all the lights 
there's I know I've got a lot of them, but there's no point paying eight or ten pound for one when you can buy four or five for twelve or fifteen pound. Do you know what I mean? No point paying a tenner for one when you can buy five and have them for three pound each. Um, so that's why I've got so many of them. The booster packs, like I said previously, the Zag ones, like a tenner, they're rubbish. So I went to the proper phone shop and spent forty-five pound and got two. Well, forty-five pound each, and got two real decent booster packs. That way, if you go out for two or three weeks, you can charge your phone for two or three weeks with just those two booster packs. They're bloody excellent. Um, but I'd speak to the phone shop and get them to recommend what charges best for what phone you've got. First aid kit again, uh, unlikely to need it, but it's better to have it than not to have it if you do need it. Head torches, I've got ones you charge up by electric, I've got Petzl and some pretty good ones, but I've also got real cheap ones that take batteries, so you can take them out while camping, and it don't matter if you damage them or whatever. I mean, this one here, um, this one was on um, Temu, and then it £1.97, I mean, it's, it's <laughs> you get what you pay for in a way, it's not very good, but it's perfectly fine if you're out while camping and that. Um, what else have I got in there? Water purification tablets, again on eBay, they were about £2.99 for like about 200 so they're so cheap. I got those electrolyte tablets, that's mainly for when I disappear like on an uninhabited island or something, and because they've got salt in and that, they're pretty good for you. They're the fire lighters I use, they were on eBay as well. Um, I can't remember what they cost. Literally four or five pound, and you get like 50 or 60 in a pack. And you can like peel them apart and you can even get fires going in the in the rain with them they're actually really good um that's about it for that drawer really uh, in this one that's my cleaning kit for the van so we don't really need that to see that some gloves and hats always useful got tarpaulins Got several tarpaulins and then two 20 litre diesel cans. I hardly ever used the diesel cans. Again, I bought them online. I can't remember what they were. I think there was some sale going on. I paid about a tenner each or something from brand new. <laughs> it's crazy. You pay a lot more than that in the shop. I hardly ever use them because um, diesel does actually go off. I think diesel goes off in six months and petrol goes off in 12 months. And you don't want to put dirty fuel in your van. So if you're not going to use it, don't bother filling them up. But... I have used them, I think, twice, but, yeah, always useful to have them, I suppose. Yeah. And these gloves, again, um, can't see if, can't really see if they're a make or not, Windstopper, and, but anyway, on eBay, literally about £5 for, like, three pairs or something like that, and they're actually really good. So there's no point going into like these shops spending twenty, thirty pound on a pair when you can get them for a fiver for three pairs online and they do just as good a job. What else can I say? Oh that carpet is so thick, it's a nightmare to keep clean. I'd recommend getting that small, like quite hard stuff. <laughs> Easy to keep clean then. Uh that's the toilet. I got quite a decent toilet actually, I went to a proper camping shop, I can't remember which one I went to for it, but I spent like about 100, 120 quid on that toilet, it's a flushable one and I recommend as well spending a little bit extra for the fluids that you put in it, the cleaning fluids and um, get the ones that's none formaldehyde, because a lot of them still use the formaldehyde, I get the one that hasn't got it in there. You know, the one that says, oh, you can tip this on your flowers, but I wouldn't. But, um, yeah, so better for the environment as well and all that. Um, Can't really think of much else to say, really. Like I said before, I've got no electric, no solar panels, no water pumps, no nothing. Very basic, very simple van. And that is literally all I use. Gas stove to cook on, fridge to keep my food in. Got my lights, booster packs for my phone. That's it. Very simple. Anyone can do it. Simple, cheap. If you're prepared to live without all the mod cons, tech and luxury, then it's easy. Anyone can do it. And that's it, really. That's my van.
and everything inside it. The tiger's den, roaming free. That's pretty much what I do. Anyway, if you want to see more videos from me, click like and subscribe. The next one will probably be on Fox Hall, I think. I'm going somewhere with the on holiday, the Landmark Trust property again. And then it'll be a wild camping video showing you how to get a fire going and catch fish, prepare them, cook them. And I'll explain the kit and everything that I use when I go wild camping because I don't just buy the cheap rubbish for that. I actually get some half decent stuff so I can recommend what kind of tent, sleeping bag, etc. to use. So if you want to see more, click like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.